you know something just about two weeks i became the head girl of half a senior in high school gosh i had this dream i saw about 700 schools Oof. senior high schools in ghana they came and all of them started laying their crests down and ask me what I was supposed to do with that. Welcome to High Schools Africa. Prove that your school is the best school. Look, the school has a couple. Did I say poco pie or couple? Co co <laughs> Is it a poco pie? The school has a poco pie. A poco pie. How's it going, human beings? My name is Moses. Welcome back to the channel. Somewhere in the 60s, the Ghanaian political political please comport the Ghanaian political legend dr kwame Nkrumah, who is also a true indigen of this soil i mean an enzima soil established this great institution somewhere in the 60s and then he gave it a super interesting motto it says only the best is good for africa wow today i have showed up here in hafasin senior high school high school and I'm going to meet up with the, with the showrunners of the school, not even the administrators, but the students who run this school. And I can't wait to, to share with you. Let's go. But before that, Charles made me understand that there are more than 800 senior high schools in this country. And in this year, 2022, I have a plan to visit all of them and bring to you all the interesting stories about those schools. It is going to be a lot of work. I need a fuel station to work with. A fuel company so if you know of any fuel company please come and sponsor this and also accommodation if i show up in your town and you can host me just like familia beach resort has hosted us here today that would be so awesome also if you do appreciate all the videos that are coming up here please give me an endorsement by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the notification i'll be so grateful please in this school, I have heard that anytime you want to speak with the head girl, she has to speak to you from a balcony. Look, miss. Why? How far? Cool, you? I'm good. Gosh. Uh-huh. You are once again welcome to Half a Senior High School. I was told in a fortnight you'll be coming here and I've been waiting for ages. As long as you are here. Actually, I was supposed to be here like two weeks ago, but... Okay, I can't get into that. But now I want to have a lot of conversation with you. Should I come up there? Or are you going to be down here? Well, it's not right, but I'm coming down. It's, uh, uh, it's not right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, please. Thank you for coming down to my level. You're welcome. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> when I got in here, the first thing I saw is this cool crest. Amazing, it has a lot of details, but of course, there is a story behind this. Sure. But then I have met the head girl over here. Over there you said, gosh, it means you know my name. I know you very well. But I do not know your name and they are also interested in knowing who you are and how beautiful you look right now. Amazing, beautiful head girl of Hasco. Now they want to know your name. Please, what's your name? Okay, I'm called her Royal Majesty Theodora Nanaja. Wait, 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 wait. You are called what? Her Royal Majesty. Her what? Karen for short. Her Royal Majesty. Her high school. Why? Are you shocked, Price? Hey, you people can copy like that. Copy from who? HRM. You know where HRM is coming from? From her. Her, It's coming from high school. H since when? Huh. 19 Kojo Ho Ho. HRM? Since. Hey, you people. They stood as, yeah, I wanted to tell you this. They stood uh, titles for prefership. Yeah, over here. For how long have you been called HRM? Since I became there. It's there. It's something there. I came to meet it. Those old students came to meet it. It's been there since. They stood hey. as, so. The first day I hey, watched their man. video, I had wanted to go. <laughs> and you know, that thing. They stood as. I so you were called HRM? HRM. And if you fail to do that, hey. Everybody in the school calls me HRM. It's a vat. You can't design it. Hey, HRM. Tell us, Shoko. HRM. Say your name again. HRM. Her Royal Majesty Theodora Nanaja Nyameche Brago Atta. HRM. Yeah. For real. You know something. And the head boy is called what? He's called HRH. His Royal Highness. Will I get to see him? 
Just sure. to confirm. I'll get to see him, right? You will see him very soon. Charlie! <laughs> I can see you are shocked. <laughs> uh -huh, so, <laughs> here in Hafasin, they also call their head girl H H R M. And it's not something that they just picked it up. Of course, we launched H um, HSA last year, 2021. And she's telling me that they've been using HRM since 19 Kojoho. Kojoho means 19 forever. <laughs> so it's not just yesterday. Yeah, Amazing. I'm so surprised. Yeah. Amazing. HRM. <laughs> yeah, once again, welcome to Hapa Simi Thank you very much. Now, people, this school has a name, Hasco. 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 When you hear Hasco, you, you've, heard, you've heard of the school. Yeah. This is the school. Somebody told me that this is the school that rules in all the Enzima zone area and even in this country. I don't know about that. I'm here to confirm. Is that true? That is very true. We are the Kong, the first. Amazing. No yeah. Now, I want to find out a lot about this. But before that, I also want to show you something down there. Okay. Not you showing me. Me, want, me, I want to show you something. <laughs> Can you go and see that? Yeah, very sure. Please. Gosh. <laughs> You know, I don't know what you are going to show me, but the first time I watched this video and I saw the Ahantaman girls calling their prefect HRM, I was really pissed off. <laughs> you see that bus over there? <laughs> Which one? The yellow one? I guarded people. We are going on a trip to, you know, beat them. For real? Me sure, the headmaster has to cool me down by buy a buying pizza for me. It's my favorite. I also called the chief in charge of this town to cool me down. Other than that, Ahantaman girls, Crystal girl. <laughs> <laughs> they really copied us. How possible? Amazing. And right now, people believe they are the only school that use the title HRM. It's never true. But now Come to have a senior high school. But now you've cleared the yeah. words. Amazing. Yeah, that's why we even have our head prefect, the senior prefect, to be called His Royal Highness. His Royal H -R -H Highness. For short. Yes. So, hey. Christabel, be warned. Don't use that title again. <laughs> Hand it over. <laughs> HRM. Gosh. Yesterday we, we came this way, we drove here. And then this place was super dry, okay? Yeah. And then we got to half a scene yesterday. And there was a heavy downpour. You saw it? I saw Tendering it. Tendering and all that. That's very true. And this morning we have this over here. Is this thing beautiful? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> hmm. We've been waiting for you because we know people watch this program online. And it is my major concern as the girls' prefect of Half a Senior Senior High School. That thing, when it is raised, anytime this thing is raised as a whole topic, I don't feel comfortable. And the whole school also, and the students in it also don't feel comfortable because it is the major concern of the school. Mm -hmm. And as this thing should be done, I know my old students are there watching us. I know they are super rich. Most of the prominent people in Ghana and Your outside Ghana. people are very rich. Yeah, you have a lot of alumni. Yeah. Hasco alumni. You, you have a lot of money. Famous. Come. Come and show here. Yeah. I can't go there. You see, this is what happened. And we are coming. Some of your students were coming here. And then they were using this. They were coming like this. Sure. Because no way they can come here. They've polished sure. their shoes, right? Yeah. So somewhere, somehow, if some of them get their feet to slip, they can fall down and they and go get down pain. here. It's going to take them three months before they get back to school. Yeah. And you people, you are super rich. You have a lot of money, and you want to be proud of your school, and be sure that everything is perfect. Over here, is, of course, we are now getting in there to see Let what me is come in, here. in, please. Please come in. As Hasco can boost to tell people we have prominent people outside and inside Ghana managing the helms of the affair of Ghana. Mm. You should know. And we are telling you, maybe you don't know, but right now I am telling HRH Nanat is telling you to come to the aid of high school. We need your help. Please come. Please. Please. We don't have to talk that much, but we want this place to be. Is it co talented? Hey, hey, comfort. We want this place to be. <laughs> to be co <-tarted, laughs> To be bitumened. Like. Hey. It, should be, it should be fixed. It should be fixed. We have to get this place fixed. It's a very beautiful road it's like that. Nice, yeah. Very flat one. The, these things have already been made. The gutters. the gutters have been made. The only thing that is left here is to fill this place up and then this place is going to be nice. Maybe three trips or five trips or um, 100 bucks or 50 bucks of cement or Can whatever it is. Quota, um, 
50,000 Ghana cities, 100,000, you guys. 100,000 is nothing to you. It's nothing. Please, bring the school 100,000. Let they them just money. clear this part and then. You agree with me, right? Sure. Yes. You, I agree with Don't come and beat us. Bring money. <laughs> Even if you get angry, break air conditioners over here. They want We it. need more. That's it. Hey, Sharon. Gosh. What is it about this Christ? <laughs> My it school looks Christ. so glorified. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a no school in Ghana. No school. You can see the porcupine, right? Porcupine? Yeah. You can see the coconut tree. Ah, it's a coconut tree. Yeah. The shovel and the axe. As well as the book with a flame on it. And there we have the waters. And we still have the porcupine on the book. Yeah. It's telling us a whole lot. What's the story? Wow. My school crest is divided into three parts. Up, we have the book with a flame. Written on it, God bless her school with the porcupine on it as well. And the down part is also divided into two. Where we have the porcupine, the tree with the farming equipment. And down here we have the waters. Let's talk about the book first, since it's the first session. The book symbolizes the knowledge we get through learning. And the flame on it stands for the light, which leads to the high height of education which we get through learning i mean acquisition through learning when we come to the down part we have the cocoa pine and the tree let me talk about the cocoa pine gosh the cocoa pine the cocoa pine yes i'm not the only one who is going to say cocoa pine <laughs> the cocoa pine yeah. porcupine <laughs> A porcupine is an animal which is believed that when its pines are being removed, it gets new ones growing. And it also has the spirit of fighting and it never gives up easily. The so, porcupine? Sure. Hey. It never gives up. So this is on our crest to show and motivate we the students that in learning we never give up. Amazing. Yeah. And at the left side we have the coconut tree, the shovel and the axe. The axe and the shovel stands in and explain that in living in Ghana or in the world, you can't only live by education only, but rather agriculture can also help you earn something in living. And also, the coconut tree is the cash crop for Nzima people. On Nzima land, we, we have the cash crop, which is the coconut. So that's why we have it on our crest. That is why we met so many of them along the way when we were coming. It's, yeah. Then you also it's said right. something about, yes, you also said something about agriculture. Yeah. Do you have a school garden? We, we have one. Why not? <laughs> we, we have <laughs> people. School garden. Yeah. We have people who study agriculture as a course here. So we have the garden and we have a place for rearing animals for them too. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm leaving this to you, the alumni of um, high school. What is it about this crest that HRM couldn't say it? Please put it in the comment box and let's learn more about this because it looks, it's, it's so interesting. And what do you think motivated this? Only the best is good for Africa. It has a whole story. Before that, let me tell you what the waters stand for. So this one is also part? Yeah. It's not just a design? No. What is that? You see, we are the extreme end of the country. The only school at the extreme end. We have these waters on to show our geographical position mm. of the school. Yeah, it is situated at the western part of the country. The western part, sorry, at the country. Yeah, and we also have the Tanoi River which enters into the Abi Lagoon and the other side. So that's why we have the waters, to show our geographical position in the country. Amazing. So that is it. Only the best is good for Africa. Is it the original motto from the very beginning of yeah, the, the institution sure, of this school? Sure, the Who gave it that motto? Our noble man. The founder. Yes. And it was also, you know, help uh, by the first headmaster, who is Mr. E. A. Hazel, so, our first headmaster. So I want to find out, only the best is good for Africa. Do you think Africa is getting, is living up to this expectation, this motto over here? Sure, we are even going to the higher standard. We are flying high. Are you sure? Very sure. Are you sure? 
What is this? This is a statue. And we can see egg and a hand. A hand. This hand is definitely a hand yeah, of a man. A male, yeah. Yes. A male holding an egg. And this symbolizes since it is an institution, mm. which is half a senior senior high school. Mm -hmm. The egg and with the hand is telling us how fragile an egg is. When the egg falls down right now, it can never be fixed again. So it is telling us and motivating us, the students, how careful we should hold our education, our lives, our friendship, and everything. Amazing. Yeah, and it is written on it boldly, Sonoboe. Sonoboe? Sure. In what language, language is that? In Zima. In Zima language? Yeah. You see, this school is found on the Inzima land. Yeah. Wow. So the Sonoboe translated to fancy or tree is somuye, somuye and English is hold it well. Hold it well. Yeah. So Sonoboe is an Inzima language. Inzima language is actually the native language of the uh, Ghanaian political legend Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah who also um, established this great institution and they've written it over here Sonoboe. Yeah. So anytime the students see this yeah. they are motivated they are yeah. to just be careful with their lives and everything they do and how valuable our education our edu is too. Uh, your education yeah. is since it's leading us to our goals and stuff amazing so this is the explanation of the egg so amazing boy. amazing what 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 is, what is actually what is the story behind this school we all know our hero who is our hero a surgical dr kwame Nkoma. okay you know him right sure if not for Are you kidding time. me? <laughs> it's just a question. I know, I know, you know. him you very know him. well. I know you know him. Should if we not, sit here? Sure, we can sit here. If not for this man, hey, Ghana, I wouldn't know what would have happened to us by now. <laughs> I salute that man a lot. He has done a whole because lot he for Because he built your oh, school for you. He is our founder. <laughs> Amazing. This school was established in the year 1960 by our noble Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Before the school was established, we have these people, GET, Ghana Education Trust people. They were the main people connecting to Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and they came there. They brought the idea to build this school. Since Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is found or coming from the Nzima land, so they brought the idea and these people supported and helped him build the school. And this school was um, started with a headmaster named Master E.A. Hazel. That's our first headmaster. And before they were starting, they started with just 70 students. 70, 70, 70, 70, 70 zero. zero, I mean. Gosh, and now if I can tell you, we have about 1,200 students in half a senior senior high school. Amazing. And from they also both, start uh, form one, form two, form three. Form one, no, form two and three only. So, 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 so the first year people they've not come they've in. They've not yet. come yet. They've not come yet. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And also they started with just three teachers. And if I should tell 70 you, seventy students and, and three, three teachers. teachers. Yeah. If I should tell you how many teachers we are having now in high school, you wouldn't believe it. How many of them do you have? <laughs> we have 201 teachers in half a season. 200? 201! Gosh, that is it. That is half a season in your high school. 201 you, teachers yeah, 200. in here. Yeah. Amazing. 201. 200. Is the school only a boarding school? No, both boarding and day. And if I should tell you how many day students we have, they are not even included to the uh, 1,200. So no. the 1,200 are it's all bodies. bodies. Yeah, they are all bodies. We have about 1,001 day students. So you are about 1,200 um, bodies over here. Sure. And about 1,000 plus old students, which is not included. Yeah. I don't know why it's not included anyway, but I, I don't know. So what course, what program? Is it program or course? Course. What course what course do you do over here? Okay, over here we have we offer general arts, agriculture, science, general science, home economics and also uh, visual arts. Amazing. Yeah. And, and is there any extra curricular activities you guys do over here? Gosh, mm -hmm. you know something? Tell me. We have so 
many clubs in Hafa Senior High School. And the fantastic one that I love the most is the music class, which is a whole course over here. The do music course over here. Yeah. Amazing. Sure. We also have the drama troupe, which is high school, half a senior senior high school drama troupe. We also have the um, higher life. Higher life is a club that educates students about, let me say, gospel rock show. We okay. all know this thing. They teach, uh, they encourage and motivate, as well as teaching students on how they should build on their talents, being it singing, whatever, dancing, whatever. We call them the higher club. So we also have the um, young achievers. Young achievers is also a club here. A whole lot that I can't even mention them. All. Amazing. Yeah. So. I, I, I like to find out. I like to find out something. Okay. Concerning the population of the students, do you have students that are coming from other parts of the country, or most of them are from? the Inzima sector. You are going to the extreme and that I had wanted to tell you before. You know what? Hava Senior Senior High School is the only school in Ghana closer to the border between Ghana and La Côte d'Ivoire. Mm. Sure. It's just a 30 minutes drive. From here to that place, I think 30 minutes and you can see the water. That's um, Divide Ghana. Yeah, J Wolf. Yeah. Just 30 minutes drive. And we have students from La Côte d'Ivoire in high school. For real? Sure, about 55 students from La Côte d'Ivoire. Are here? Are here in high school. We also have Nigerians in high school, Beninese in high school. Are you surprised? So your school is the only school in this country that is a, 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 a multinational yeah. school? Yeah, my school only. And let's not forget, high school, in the whole Ghana, high school is the only five-star school. Five? Hey, since when did, uh, did they start uh, 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 categorizing schools in, in stars? Wow. Five stars? You don't know. High school is a five-star school, like a hotel. I thought you know. You are lacking a lot. Five-star school? Five, yes, why, is five, five star, why, why is it a five-star school? Show. You know the things we have? Five, you, you've heard of five-star hotel, but school you've not heard, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I'm telling you today that high school is the only five-star school we have in Ghana. Hey, high school people, so your school is a five-star school? Five-star five -star school. school. Yeah. <laughs> the only five-star school in Ghana, yeah. That's what a, makes it a five-star school? You know, we have so many things. When we say something is five-star, mostly we refer those things to hotels. That means they can accommodate so many people, they have so many things, infrastructures and stuff. We have all of them here. Over here? Over here. That makes your school a five-star school. A five-star school. Very soon we will be upgrading up. To six-star. Eight-star. <laughs> we are jumping. Six-star, seven. We are jumping from that place to eight-star school. Very soon. So, so you, are, you are so confident that your school is a five-star school. You can stand anywhere and say this. You know something? Just about two weeks, I became the head girl of half a senior senior high school. Gosh, I had this dream. I saw about 700 schools. Wait, a dream? A dream. And in a dream, you saw about 700? 700 schools in Ghana. Senior high schools? Senior high schools in Ghana. What were they doing? Just two weeks after I became the head girl. What were they doing? You know what? <laughs> they were in line coming, marching coming, just right here coming Where? to me, here, on this pavement, just here, coming to me. I was like, whoa. I wait, didn't wait, know why wait, you were wait, coming wait. here. Wait, 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 700, about 700 schools. 700 schools, and you know what? They came and all of them started laying their crests down and asked me what I was supposed to do with that. Just they, ask Wait, me. wait, this, I'm confused. <laughs> about 700 senior high schools in this country. I tell you, guys. They came to your school. My school. And when they came, they came laying down their crest, school crest. Their school crest, sure. They tore it or what? It was in their hands. And they came to lay it down here. Right here. For what? They lay. That's the question I was expecting you to ask me. They just asked me to walk on it, and I was walking on it majestically. Hey, Ooh. sister! <laughs> 700 schools and as people were laying others were also coming they were rushing running <laughs> <That is not> <laughs> <laughs>
And you know what? The first press I saw in London, <laughs> I saw them. I even saw our sitting president, our current president, hey. his school was the first crest I saw, followed by my own headmaster, followed by our vice president. I tell you guys. And everybody came to put their crest here and they, say, and they say you should walk on it. Yes, I should walk on it. Why? They've seen the light. <laughs> it's like I'm second Joseph. Sure. Right now I'm Josephina. I tell you. I was surprised. Wow. They were rushing, you know. others were rushing, gosh, rushing. So coming. while the 700 people were already here, others two were coming here. Others two were coming. Looking for way out to come and put their crest here for the you place to was walk. full. <laughs> we have to branch forgive to the me. other pavement. Please forgive me. Because it's true, I've even not told my headmaster about this dream. How can you? <laughs> Second Josephine, I tell you, gosh. I say it's on your head. Master's crest too. It was the third crest in position. Go ahead, go ahead, Josh. So this is the reason why I'm telling you my school is the only five star school. Hmm. I told you, I'm giving you just five years. When you are coming to high school, you have to take a flight. I tell you. That's half a in high school. Guys. Five years, gosh, I tell you. Guys. Mark my words. Here. The, it's over to us. I'm done. So, so where else are you taking me? Oh, actually, my free period is up and I have to go. So, I will introduce... Which means uh, you have to go back to class. Yeah, I have to go back to the classroom. Amazing. Yeah, so I will introduce you today. Administration laser, we call her Lady Marcia. She, she's going to, yeah. She has free time now. Yeah, free so time. So she's going to continue sure. the conversation with she's me. She's going to show you the most beautiful and eloquent assembly hall in Ghana. Amazing. Yeah. So, guys, this place, these students are super, um, really know how to coordinate stuff over here. They're shifting the conversation like that. Yeah. I mean, so I should go and meet her over there, right? Yeah, she's waiting for you over there. Let's go there. This edifice looks really great. This one belongs to Has Hasco. There's a lady over here. Lady Marcia. Okay, she's here. Miss, mm -hmm. how far? Cool. Did I say your name Hava. right? Yes. Please. What's the name? Marcia. Lady Ma Marcia Kukua Ata. Lady Marcia Kukua Ata. Kukua. Kukua yes, Ata. Please. What is happening to me today? <laughs> they want to see your face. Amazing. This is a beautiful girl we're dealing with over here. Lady Marcia. Yes. <laughs> Which building is this one? Okay, so this is our auditorium. Also our uh, assembly hall. What's the difference between that? The auditorium and, and the assembly hall. I think since we have just one, it's kind of the same. Since we hold all our assemblies here and also other activities here. So it's kind of the same. So you do entertainment in here yes. and general assembly too over here. Yes. So auditorium and what? Our assembly hall. An assembly hall. Assembly is where all the students gather for an information yes. from the school authority, right? Yes. And auditorium is when we are doing an event or anything of that sort. Yes. I know everything. <laughs> Amazing. But it looks so beautiful. The design is so beautiful. Do you know the story behind it, how it came about? Oh Yes, we initially had a smaller assembly hall, which is right next to our administration block. And because of the introduction of the free ACHS, the population of the school increased and all of us couldn't fit there. So the Talo Company Limited um, donated this wonderful and beautiful building for us as our assembly It's hall. so beautiful, the design. Oh yes, of course. I would have contributed in drawing because... Hey, sister, oh, can you I'm, draw? I'm very good, I'm very good. <laughs> she says you can draw for Talo. Oh, I can. <laughs> Amazing. So this yes. is what they have over there. Yes. Ah, uh, guys, look, it's true. It's from Talo. This plaque was unveiled by Kweku Awache. You can already see their, this thing over here, their logo. Talo, sponsor High Schools Africa. There's so much work to be done. Amazing. It can take how many people? Um, 
basically all the population and we are about 1200 students and it can contain all the students alongside the teaching and the non-teaching staff amazing yes can we see what is inside oh. this is a super super duper huge auditorium amazing yes um you know you've noticed there are lots of chairs in here a lot some of them. schools don't have even chairs to accommodate the students we have the soft ones you feel really comfortable in them and also these ones which are also very comfortable and you notice there are speakers all over some schools have just two speakers and when it's time for a program a show or assembly the teachers have to shout on top of their voice for others to hear them. no way me like, like for me for instance i will ever attend a school like that oh you know as your um, channel says, yes. High School Africa. Yes. And our motto is also saying, only the, the best, best is good. You know, emphasis on the best. The best only the best, the is, good best is good for Africa. So everything in Half Asini Senior High School is the best of the best. Amazing. You notice our drums, the music students use it a lot. And you know, you can bust it anytime you want and we'll replace it for you. <laughs> you, you also notice Amazing. beautiful fans in here. Gosh, I want you to guess how many fans we have here. This fan should be about 17. Oh, no, maybe more than 17. 17 is small. It's more than 80. Amazing. You know, we want they the, have so many fans. Yes, we want the ventilation in here to be good. We want the students to feel good, you know. Everything about Haskell is good. Amazing. You know, and up there too, there are chairs there to accommodate other students who are late and weren't able to come downstairs. Amazing. They can also go up. And you know, everything down there it looks like a, like a theater, like the up yes. there, the, the sitting up there. Yes. Amazing. We have a TV and also a projector at the same time. You have TV and you have projector at the same time. Yes. On Saturdays, um, the entertainment prefects make sure students are able to watch TV, cartoons, movies to, you know, entertain themselves during their leisure time. And gosh, there's one problem about the Taloho. That is our light. The light. You know, there are beautiful lights all over and they are not These working. Are ultra modern light oh. yes. but they are not working they are not working so we had to support it with these lights and it's also, tubes. it's also not enough so i want to also say this to our wonderful and you know successful rich old students, old students. they should come <laughs> even, even if they get angry they should support the assembly hall with end conditions we are going to accept it <laughs> amazing yes even if you get angry yes they it means come. get angry and yes, even, I want them even to bring get in air conditioners so that they can bring air con for us to enjoy and feel good and but i know here, this light even you yourself you are capable of fixing it oh i can <laughs> and you notice there are chairs here these are for the teachers who come for the assembly if they are needed to make an announcement they just sit there to relax and also the ones they are for the prefects who also want to make an announcement and you notice that we cherish our founder we love our founder really well so we have a picture of him in our Where is it? oh okay yes. look at this so he established he founded a school he established he yes. built the school yes. literally yes. yeah this is the this is the man almost Africa, I mean, Ghana revolves around a surgical Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Amazing. So where did you buy this from? We didn't buy it, actually. It was made by a student. A student? Yes, he has his name here. Rick Ross. Yes. A student made this and gifted it to the school when he was about to graduate. So it's made by a student here. Amazing. So this is why it is good to do good for your school. Now, excuse me. Now the guy made this painting and gave it to the school. He has completed school and he's long gone, but his works are here and today we are taking a look at it. So what also can you do for your school that can make your name um, remain in your school? Not breaking glasses and chairs and those kind of, please don't do that. Amazing guy. Rick Ross, you are highly appreciated over here. Amazing guy. Lady Marcia, yeah. what is this? That is a roll of honor. It's a board used to honor our past headmasters because every headmaster is important in high school because they made contributions and they helped in the upbringing and the good name of high school. 
So we have our, from our first headmaster, which is Mr. E. A. Hazel, who is also being named after a house in Hasco. And also to our recent but not last headmaster, Mr. Kweku Chikata. Chikata. Yes. Amazing. So gosh, mm -hmm. by far that is all about our auditorium and assembly. And one fun fact about assembly hall is because of the appreciation we wanted to show for the Talo Company Limited, we named it the Talo Hall. The Talo so it's called the Talo, the Talo Hall. Hall. Amazing. Yes. And that is about everything of it. And I can say with the authority, <laughs> the bragging <laughs> rights <laughs> that Halfasini Senior High School has the biggest, the better, and the by far like everything. <laughs> it is the biggest Talo Hall, the assembly hall in the whole of Africa. Amazing. Hands down. In the whole of Africa. Yes. Amazing. Whole of Africa. Our this assembly is, hall is, is the best. Amazing. And gosh, if uh -huh. you look right opposite our assembly hall. There is the two classroom block, which is the nine unit classroom. It was built by the government because of the introduction of the free SHS, mm -hmm. the population of the students increased. So for the government to provide more accommodation, classrooms, accommodations for the students, they built the nine unit classroom block. So it has the three, which is really straight to the assembly hall mm. and it consists of the home economics students that is the form two home economics which is home economics one home economics two and home economics three and to your right is the six unit classroom and it consists of the general art students it's from act one to act six amazing yes and the government didn't just build the building for just building sake they also finished it with good and prominent chairs for the students to feel comfortable. So you have good chairs in there? Oh yes, Amazing. good chairs and dexes for the students to enjoy. And it's also, I think every class has about seven fans in there. They wanted seven? To, yes, they wanted to use an air conditioner there, but then the money didn't reach. So if the all students, students are watching, we, 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 we need air conditions so they can, you know, help bring air conditions to the classrooms. Excuse me. Amazing. And in between the nine unit classroom block, there is a lavatory which was built by the 2020-2021 SRC. So that was what they donated to us when they left the school. It is right in between the blocks for the students to use when they need to use the washroom. Amazing. There is actually one more person I need to be to say she's okay. Hey guys. Are you the one? Yes, please. What's her name? Um, Her Excellency Venice Yababua. She's the one. Okay. Miss Venice. Yep. I have heard so much. Um, HRM has showed me a lot of things, but okay. they say there is so much you can also show me. Oh, yeah. What's up? Yeah, I can officially introduce to you our administration this block. This is the administration yes, block officially, guys. This is just the administration yes. block. Also, have one thing the whole Africa have to know about. You see, you're talking to them and they are watching. Say, Who is this girl? Can they look, can they see your face? Oh, sure. Please let them see you. They are so okay, curious. Okay. There is one thing I want the whole Africa to know about. Yes, what is that? The mission and vision statement of our school. That is so important. Can you take me there? And then, and you also have this phone booth, right? Yeah. And they work perfectly. No, no. They don't. No, they don't. We have been calling Vodafone to come and fix it, and they are not showing up. What I want right now is they should come and take their things out here. The girl, don't need the girl she bought. <laughs> the girl bought. <laughs> don't worry. They'll come and take it away from here. We don't need them. No. <laughs> The, this is the mission statement. Yeah. To provide high quality and relevant academic, academic, moral, and practical education for the youth that will assist them to be productive and responsible citizens so as to enable them to contribute meaningfully to the development of, of the society. society. Yeah. Amazing. That's the, That's vision, the vision statement. Yeah. This is the vision of the school. Guys, please read it out loud. It was donated by SRC 2015-2016. Great guys. Wow. Yeah. Miss Bernice. Yes, sir. This is ICT Lab. Yes. Awesome. Our ICT Lab. Because they have one of the most modern computers over. These are not sure. Pentium 1 or Pentium 2. Not. not so modern. 
amazing. But you see, it's one thing to have the um, devices over here and one thing to make an effort to, to keep them, to protect them. And the school is so wise, they've actually come up with a whole lot of step down. They have step downs over here. So what it means is that whenever there is a power interruption and it doesn't go well, they're not going to lose their machines. Sure. Ha. Huh. Whose idea was this? Oh, from our headmaster. Amazing. Our dad, our, our beloved father. Amazing. This is a very complex drawing. Yeah. And why did you people take so much pain to make this drawing on the wall? Well, this is a world map. It was drawn purposely to show locations of various places and continents that it, everybody, like being it a student or anybody who passes around, will at least learn one or two things from this. Amazing. Because not all of us like to go to the net and then oh, research no. about. Oh, no. Somebody like me. Amazing. Yeah. So just when you walk around here and you see us, you can sure, pick, sure. you know where the Indian Ocean is. Yeah, you can know where the Atlantic, the Pacific Ocean, everything. This is innovative. Half a scene, half school. Mm -hmm. The head boy is ready. And I want you to continue the conversation. Where is he? Let's go. How Yeah, you guys, cool. I've heard so much about you. Sure. But your people, they didn't and they are so much interested in knowing your name. Okay. And also to see you. I am His Royal Highness Gabriel Mieszan Kwao. Gabriel Mieszan Kwao? Yes. Mieszan Kwao. Mieszan Kwao. Mieszan Kwao. Mieszan is an Nzema name? Sure. Are you an Nzema? Please, yes. Amazing. So <laughs> you are from around here? Yes. Are you from Hafasini? No. Where are you from? From Nuba. Nuba? Yes. This is my first time hearing of Nuba. <laughs> I have to visit that place. Yeah, Nuba Efe. It's a beautiful town, eh? Very, very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You're yeah. the head boy. Please, yes. And you are called HRH. Her Royal Highness. Her Royal Highness. His Royal Highness. Her Royal, his Royal, his Royal Highness. Yes. Do you know the story behind His Royal? Yeah. HRH H. and HRM. Awesome. So, I want to know about this. How did this thing come about? Yeah, this is our b-ball court and we just, it was just financed by our 2019 to 2020 LSLC, yeah, group. Yeah, so they tried to build up this b-ball court for us. They paid for this project? Yeah. Amazing. It's so beautiful. Not a lot of schools have b-ball no. court like this. When you look at in my area, it is, I can tell you that it is only high school. That has a, a b-ball court. A b-ball court. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Your school is the controlling school of all the schools in the sure, Zima sure, zone, right? Sure. Amazing. High school. Now, your, your, can we sit down here? Oh, sure. Now, okay. your, your old alumni, they're watching you. They've been watching us from till now. I'd like to find out what is it that, personally, you want your old student to come and do for the school? Okay. One thing being a problem for us is the fencing of the school. You really want to get the school fenced? Yeah, sure, sure. So I am appealing on them today that they should help us fence the school. Amazing. Yeah, they should help us fence it. The headmaster is trying his best to do it, but he alone can't do all. So this also should come in and help us. So for him, what is important to him right now is the fencing of the school. Because so many people, people get in here, right? Yeah. Like yeah. people from, from, from the town, town yeah. get in here. And students also go out. Break bounds. Yeah. yeah you see? So. so it is not a good idea for him and he thinks the school should be fenced. And you, the alumni, you are the major stakeholders of this is your school. This thing that you've done is so beautiful. Yeah. So just yeah. imagine if you keep doing projects over here. Now what he wants is that. You want the school to be fenced, so please push yourself together. If you're not part of the Old Student Association, check in the description box down there. I have put the number of the school there. Call the school, join, make your contribution to the school, and then be sure that the, the wall is fenced. Yeah. It's fenced for the school, yeah. so that my brother over here will be very happy, and then people, I mean, Things could be kept in yeah. order. For my old student, yeah, they, they will come. They will come. They will come. Crying. And they he trusts you people yeah. to 
As Amazing. I'm talking to you, as when they get the information, uh, about three days to four days, they will start coming. They will start coming. I assure you that by one week to two weeks time, all of them will be here. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. I can't wait. When they come, let me know that they've been here, and I'll just do a follow up on that. Okay. I think since morning we have been showing you to a lot of people and a lot of teachers, but headmaster, we haven't yet seen him. So yes. we can go and. You want to take me to the headmaster? Yeah, sure. Please take me there. Okay. But before that, I'd like to find out. Do you know some of your notable alumni? Let's sit here. Please, yes. You know some of them? Yes. Can you mention some of them to yes. me? And I'm asking that because I'd like to make a direct appeal to them so that they can come and donate a lot of things to the school. Yeah, we have the chief of Hafasini. The chief of Hafasini? Yeah. And he is Nana Ibi Emisha. Yeah, and we have the owner of uh, Hillcrest Hotel. The Hillcrest Hotel, Hotel in Takrade. Takrade. Yeah, Nana Adu Jenfi. He's an uh, alumnus of the school. Uh, yes, sure. Wow. And we have Brigadier Adu, General Adu, also. He's also an alumnus of the school. Yeah, and our, and our own boy, which is Inkunsa from Skype FM. He's also an alumnus of the school. Yeah. Amazing. So, if you are all an alumni of this great institution, and right now there is so much to be done to spike the image of the school up there, and I'm, I'm making an appeal, a humble appeal, please visit the school and come and um, contribute a lot of things to the school so that the students, the continuous students, will also benefit from um, your hands and get a peace of mind to do even better in their academic work. If you do that, ah, I'll be so excited. Will you be happy? They sure, come. Sure. All of us will be happy. Thank you for supporting. Sir. Yes, Master. <laughs> I've had a lot of conversation with your students, the head prefect and the core executive. And your school is a very competitive school. It has that's made a name for itself. Half a senior high school, Hasco, Hasco, Hasco. And especially the motto it says, only the best is good for Africa. But so many people out there are also ignorant about the knowledge of the school and what it's capable of. So I'd like to find out from you what is it that you want people to understand about your school? Thank you very much. <clears throat> My name is Patrick A.J. Ampau. But you hear people saying Basti, Basti, Basti. Basti, Basti. yes. I mean, that, 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 that is how I used to be called by social you know, friends. Wow. Yeah. My school, half a senior high school, uh, it isn't different from other schools. But to start with, I want to say a very big thank you to High School South Africa. I mean, you are doing an amazing work. Thank you, sir. You are doing an amazing work. So wonderful. I, I follow you on, on the net and I say, wow. So you have this ambition thinking about schools in Ghana, to promoting them. It's a, it's, a, it's a marvelous work you are doing. God, God richly bless you. Thank you, sir. And you will replenish all you are losing. And that is it. So and I, I want to say that all my heads, colleague heads, should welcome you to their schools so that uh, you carry on with whatever you are doing. Thank you, sir. And back to your question. Half a still senior high isn't different from all schools in Ghana. It is one of the schools in Ghana. And as you may be aware, it was established by Osadipo Dr. in 1960 as one of the GT schools. Uh, we, we, we've been so good academically, co-curricular activities, whatever. We are competing with the so-called so well-endowed schools. We are beating them. And then, and then and it's, uh, the only problem is that we are far from the city secondary Takradi. So people don't know much about us. But we are selling ourselves through sports and through quizzes and through vast results. Yes, we are doing very well. And last year, our results were so wonderful. We are recording A's in English language and mathematics and stuff. So Amazing. we aren't different from the schools in Sekunita, Korea and other cities. We are the same, but we are beating them. Look at my environment. <laughs> Look at my landscape. So perfect. If this school was established in town with these facilities and environment, I mean, we would have been grade one and number one in the whole country. But I'm saying we are no different from other schools. Obviously, uh, the children here are Ghanaian children. But one thing I need to let you know is that my school is a five-star school. 
five star. So, she told me that it's yeah. a five star. Yeah. Well, so the the children are five star children. <laughs> the headmaster is a five star headmaster. <laughs> so Charlie, you are preaching five star. Amazing. You are fine from five star winners. <laughs> so everything five. Yeah. You are doing well. So you know, if you are an alumina, you can refer to your school as a five, five star, star school. school yeah. <laughs> and she also told me that it is closer to the border. Is it true? Oh well, yeah. You drive not more than ten minutes. We got to Jawewa. We got to Newtown, and then we share the boundary with Cote d'Ivoire. Wow! A lot of students from Cote d'Ivoire come here because of English language. They come here and then they go through. So French, we are doing very well in French. Wow. We record A's and B's. I mean, for French, we don't go to C. Yeah, because the students already they have the basics. So when they come, yeah, and when they finish, they go to the university in Ghana and they come back to help the teaching. That is it. So for French, I say my school may be ranked among the top in the country. Amazing. We are fighting very hard so that other subjects too, I mean, we come at par with the so-called well-endowed schools. So I think that uh, all children out there, when they are selecting their schools, they shouldn't forget. If they see half a in their eye, opt for it. Hmm. And you come and you enjoy boot life. For boot. Yeah, you enjoy life Amazing. in high school. Amazing. Yes. And um, concerning the alumni of the school, um, they are watching us now. So what is it that you want them to come and contribute? We've already solved one question. The HRM has, so I was so amazed. She said she's called HRM. Yeah. For the first time I heard of HRM yeah. is at Hunterman Senior oh, High School. Okay. okay. And they have she, same, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I was so amazed. We solved the problem of the gate entry. When you're coming in, when yeah. it's flat, yeah. when it rains, there's yeah. a flood yeah. over there. She's, the HRM has said so much yeah. things about that, so I'm pretty sure the old students are coming. But yeah. what is it again that you want the alumni to come and contribute? My brother, in all schools in Ghana, the old students are making the schools. The old students are making the schools. They have to come to the aid of the school, help. In the, you have seen that they are moving some blocks down there. Yes. It is a young group that is doing it. They're going to construct an infirmary, sick bay, for the 1993 year group. Wow. They said they are, they are celebrating their 30th anniversary next year. So that will be a, a legacy project for the school. Wow. And I want other year groups to emulate this novelty, this beautiful thing they are going to do. So I'm creating a challenge out there to my, all my old students. Come on board. Let's board Mother High School because only the best is good for Africa. We are going beyond the boundaries mm. of Ghana to Africa. Sure. So let's open our arms wide. Let's come around. We need to fence the school. I mean, I have promises from some of the old students, but Charlie, action is what is needed. Sure. So I'm only trying the challenge out there. Old students, if you can hear me loud, I'm telling you, come on board. We are ready to work with you. Let us together board Mother High School to the pedestal that it deserves to be. Sure. Amazing. So guys, this is it, Seth. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you, sir. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my time here in the school with the motto, only the best is good for Africa, a school that was built by the man himself, a sergeant for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah in the 60s. Of course, you've heard about all the capabilities of this school. You know the vision and the, what again? Mission. The and the mission statement of the school. So you ever considering choosing to be in a high school here in Ghana, West Africa? Half a senior high school is ready to host you. And of course, my visit here, I was proudly accommodated by Famia Beach Resort. I will never forget that. If you show up in the Jamoro district here in Hafasin, make a quick trip over there and then also stay with them. I'm also looking for a full, full company to work with. Please sponsor me. Sponsor me. Until then, which school should I visit again? Anu AJ. Anu AJ. Which school? NAS. NAS. Anu AJ and NAS. Yeah. I'm going to be there. Until then, I'm going to see you again very soon. And bye.